Should we get married? Oh, she refused it. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, Rain, have you trained me enough? Oh my gosh, when you come back to another household and no one's in school or do what they should be doing and you're like, Rain. this is the problem with playing two saves at once. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm literally choking. Sorry, that's made my face go bright red. As you guys know, I'm playing this save with two different series. I've got my werewolf series and my high school... I want to call it high school stories so much. My high school year series. If you haven't watched the first episode of that, go ahead and check it out. It will give you a little bit of an overview of the pack and also my thoughts on it, which I was kind of... Like, I came into werewolves being like, this pack is kind of... I don't know. I don't like it. And then I've actually been really pleasantly surprised which is why i'm loving this gameplay so much and i feel like you guys are as well like you can feed off my excitement i think and then with high school stories i told you i would do that with high school years i was the opposite i was like actually quite excited about the park i had a few hesitations but i was you know ready to get into it and then it's gone the opposite way i just found myself being like what in the t pose like i just i don't uh... I struggled with it. So go ahead and watch that so you guys can see my struggles. My struggles with high school are apparently going to feed into this series as well because this character, Morgan, is somebody who needs a CC makeover. For the love of God, they need a CC makeover so badly. They are somebody that the Sim from my other series, Opal, has a crush on. Yet they've turned up at my door in an entirely different neighborhood with an adult Sim with three children and a fated mate and said, do you want to go to prom? Why would that happen? Like, why, why would that happen? Why would you just go to a grown woman with her children in her house, sit at the table, look, sit at the table there with Rain, who looks like he could crush you. He could put that Morgan's head here. Oh, look at my fake hand, by the way. I'm so good at it, right? So good at it. Put Morgan's head here and just do this and just crush him like a watermelon. Why would that happen? Why have you come here and done this? Like, I... <sighs> Sims, seriously, what is happening right now? Why would you not just ask another teenager to prom? I wanted to start this and like address the high school thing and just talk to you guys real quick at the start. But the game has jumped the gun. Morgan, no way. I don't feel like this quite conveys how much no way. So like no freaking way. No way. No fracking way. It's not happening. Didn't swear. That's from Battlestar Galactica. Okay, no way. Go away. In fact, please get out of my house. Like, just, just go. Just leave. I don't know why you're here, but what is happening? Kids, get your butts to school. First day of high of school. Enjoy. And why did that just happen? Who were you impressed? You were impressed by him. I mean, got a lot of gut. I've got to put it that way. And okay, why am I getting this as well? What mod is doing this as well? Like, what mod is broken? I can open some profile here and there's like so much going on. Like so much and i can do it with my kids and i'm like okay loads going on there that's great i can't view his profile like look i even have a sentiment but i can't view it like what what is that sentiment i don't know it's driving me freaking crazy <laughs> Okay, calm down. Stress is not good for the baby. Do you want a baby update, by the way? Here you go. We're looking very bumpy today. I'm getting a stretchy pain straight up here as soon as I stand up. Um, this chair is not kind to my back, so I will try and keep this recording snippy snap snappy in before 40 minute video because I just can't help myself. I keep telling myself, cut the videos down, Claire. Nobody wants a 40 minute video, but apparently I do because I make them that long. Okay, you know what? That entire interaction, yeah, I knew he'd be angry. I knew he'd be angry about that. Wait, where are you going right now? You have to go get some water. Honestly, I need some water. I'm choking after that as well. I feel like after that, one, I'm going to make you do a little somber howl because I feel like you're about to, the rage is about to come out and I genuinely don't blame you. I genuinely don't blame you. But two, I feel like Rain is going to be like, okay, we're fated mates. We both understand like what page we're on here but clearly <laughs> clearly 16 year old boys don't so i don't feel like we have to do this i don't feel like our relationship needs this like we both get it we're fated mates it's deeper than dating somebody but the teenagers are gonna keep knocking on our door so let's just make this official so that that doesn't happen anymore okay so there we go we're officially dating again just just literally so that the Morgans of this world don't swoop in and try and take advantage of Luna because let's face it, she's a complete hottie. So it makes sense. I could also ask her like, should we, should we get married? Cause we like have this whole, oh look, he's not as jealous now. 
Because we have this trial together thing. I'm interested to see what she says. She's like, huh? I mean, no, we could. But I'm genuinely not that bothered. I'm just genuinely not that bothered. Oh, wow. I don't know if she's too interested. Oh, she refused it. This is the thing. They don't need her. Some couples do get married. I'm a sucker for a wedding. I love marriage. I'm very happy with that. But also, it's not for everyone. And I feel like for these two, like, they're fated mates. They don't need to get married. Like, it's deep. It literally is in their scent or something, you know? They don't need it. I'm glad she said that. I'm actually glad she said that. Artemis, you've got to run some laps and it's going to build up your stamina and lung capacity, which will already be better because you're part wolf. So, no, don't don't, don't set out the laps. If anything, show up the humans. Show them up. You're a wolf. Act like it. And she got a little performance gain from that. Well done. New personal best time. You should be getting the best time in the whole school. Okay? You are a wolf. Act like one. And we're angry. We're having a beastly growth spurt. Growing up is weird enough, but now this? I like this pack. I like this pack, guys. Why are you here just punching this? I don't know. But I like this pack with all the cute stuff going on. Aruna also grabbing lunch when she's got a note saying you are cute. She thinks it might be a new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? Now, Aruna's like my little shy, giggly, sweet bean. I think she would wait and see. I don't think she would ask. And even if she did and the guy was mean, Artemis would literally tear him a new one. Probably quite literally with the claws that she's growing. So we're going to wait and see. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave to her. Hey, cutie. <gasps> it's her friends that did it. Someday it'll happen for real, but she's relieved it's not today. Oh my gosh. With friends like those, who needs enemies? That's mean. I don't like that. Okay, like hey, it often is happening in your day at school. You're just having lanigans. You're just having a good day at school. I'm not... Should I make them... No, I'm not going to make them make friends. I feel like they're a little pack. They kind of look out for each other and they don't need like any of these little, little human normies as friends. They're a little wolf pack. People know they're a bit different. They kind of give them a bit of a wide berth. So it's this three, just these three, which does mean that Aruna was pranked by like Heon or Artemis. Let's face it, it's probably Artemis. These two are being very cute today. Love that for them. And you guys pointed out that the money that we got was from the inheritance that we would have got from Liv. Wow, names and me just not working today. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go and send these guys hunting so that we'll have some food for this evening. Let's do a little hunting party. Let's not bring Opal on it because that's really weird. Oh, I guess Opal would have out here because like opal and rain like kind of have that whole we are both the black sheep of the family well you're the black wolf of the family now so i sort of like that for them he was starting to get vexed by the noises as well i don't know what noises he was hearing but something was annoying him and he's just very in love Cute. These two are cute. I know they had a rocky start, but they're still very cute to me. He doesn't seem that bothered that she refused his proposal either because they're just comfortably compatible. Oh, that's so cute. And it's fate. And honestly, she just finds him impressive. She finds his, it's his guns. Let's face it. It's his guns that she's impressed with. She has nothing but respect for them. Babes, we all do. We're all on the same page in that book. Speaking of books, are you meant to be reading werewolf lore? I feel like you are. This one, by the way, she's created two werewolves and she created rain. So this, I am going to complete. Wow, we just broke the whole one. <laughs> Why did he just get rid of all the other ones I did? Like these should all be... There we go. Okay, so the only thing I've got left to do is become Alpha of the Wild Fangs. Is there any wolf-specific rewards I can get? I could make it entrepreneurial so that I get... I can't get promoted anymore in my career, though. Hmm. Honestly, I need her to have something that she does on the side. Like, we've got money for now, but she's not enjoying her job. It was stressing her out last episode. So I feel like we need to get her a talent, something that she's really good at. I also like the idea of her being a mentor because she's obviously very invested in her family. Oh, this is what I should have got. <laughs> the Inspired Explorer. Okay, we will build that up ready for next time. We'll do that, guys. We'll do that. You guys were also suggesting that I homeschool them. Oh my gosh, I wish I could. But I had to take out the Better Schools mod for the High School mod because I think they conflict. I will check and see when it's updating. I don't want to do it right now because I feel like it's it was already like such a pain trying to get that to work, you know? But yeah, I do definitely feel like they would be homeschooled. I very, very much agree with that. Artemis always seems to get all of the wolfy stuff first. Like, look at her. She's struggling because she's got wolfy growing pains. I bet you feel it in your, like, fingers, your teeth and everything. Like, she just seems to get all of those things before everybody else. Like Aeon says, somebody said eating dirt was okay, but somebody else said eating dirt will make you die. <laughs> 
I feel like we're already struggling with him because we can't feed him meat. So Rain is like feeding him food on the side. Luna's concerned and a bit worried about him. I feel like Rain will be like, ooh, if I ever forget to make him a meal, this eating dirt could be a good idea. Eating dirt is fun. Do it, my child. There you go. Go eat some dirt. But yeah, she has this beastly growth spurt. I don't think awful day at school as well because she dropped a tray in front of everyone at the cafeteria. She was probably trying to hide the fact that she's not eating human food and then dropped the tray and everyone laughed at her. And Aruna says, I've been trying to do homework, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. And I feel like she's asking Rain again. Rain's like, eh, human topics are lame anyway. Why would you want to learn about like algebra that you're never going to use again when you could be learning about cool fighting and exploring the mines and she, he's like focus on different topics there we go rain is a fantastic dad but i'm not sure if he's handing out the bestest advice of all time how is everybody else feeling you felt like you had a kind of boring day at school it just dragged on and on he probably wants to try and meet like other kids but he feels bad like oh thank you he probably feels bad leaving like his you know sisters uh, it feels like he has to stick with them aruna bless us she's such a cute bubby she's just like oh i'm just having a really happy playful day so kids we've got meat in the fridge if you guys want to dig in and grab some and the good thing is that like Keon is now old enough to like get his own snacks. So he can be like, you know, go and get ham and cheese sandwich. So he's still having meat. But um, it's a bit like less obvious, you know, which I feel like Luna would still be a bit like, hmm, okay, you're eating meat, but like ham is like cooked meat. She's a little bit concerned about the whole situation. So I'm just going to discuss being a werewolf with him. Just be like, ah, oh, how is your teeth growing? I know your sister's got toothache, but you never complained about anything. Like, you know, is there anything you want to like discuss with me? And also I feel like, didn't he like read something about vampires somewhere or something? Oh, this music's going to give Rain a headache and it's giving me one too, so I'm going to switch it off. Like, so I think she's going to be like, he's interested in vampires, but she's like, <laughs> vampires are so lame. Imagine never being able to go out in the daytime and having deathly pale skin. Couldn't be me. Don't forget that werewolves are always so much better than vampires. And if you hear anything about them at school or anything, just make sure you come home and tell us straight away. It's football team day. Don't care. I'm in a different neighborhood. Why are you even telling me? So the other kids are still happily eating their meats. You don't have any growing pains yet. I feel like Aruna is a late wolfy bloomer. Didn't mean to make a little rhyme there. But yeah, I feel like these things come a little bit later to her. And oh, she likes looking on the bright side. Look at her. She's so baby. Select look on the bright side. She's not even in a negative mood, though. I don't think I've ever seen her in a negative mood since being a child. She's just like a little happy bun bun the whole time. And she can howl on her own now. Show us your best howl. I want to see it. Oh, it's wonderful. She still has a stupid sneer. I don't know why she has the sneer. I liked it on Artemis. Oh, look, she joined in. But I don't like it on Aruna, but I also don't know how to get rid of it. So I don't really know what to do about that. Okay, we're still trying to take over the Delta Park. So at uh, the Wild Fangs. So whilst you kids hang out now, I don't feel like there'll be any pressure to do homework in this house. Like literally no pressure at all. Like Rain and Luna are two parents that really won't care if their kids do their homework because it's like lame human homework. I really wish I could homeschool them. But I need to go and contribute to the pack so let's go ahead and i think this is a duplicate so let's give them that and also you can have this fossilized egg and she has some garlic she found some garlic last time she was here so i might get her to like collect some more garlic and then put like a little garlic ring or something or a garlic mat outside the house because she, look she wants to be disliked by vlad like she knows her son is interested in vampires and she's been reading about vampires while she's been reading up on a werewolf law to try and increase that so she wants more of these what are they called lunar blessings lunar epiphanies so she's been reading a lot about werewolves probably leaving some of that literature around the house which is where this little fella has picked it up from so as a result she wants to make sure that she's keeping her house safe and also wants to go and start some beef with vlad because if there's one thing luna's really good at she's really good at starting beef she's not very good at ending beef though. <laughs> that is one thing i will say about her i am gonna get like aeon to do his homework though because i feel like even though you know rain is saying to these guys that like, you don't need to worry about that stuff and they're all like practicing their howling together obviously like aeon can't really get involved in that so he he's probably feeling like a little bit left out because look when he howls it causes like his kids to and stuff 
So yeah, he's probably definitely feeling a little bit left out. The kids' hulls are really cute. Unintentionally crushed dreams. Oh my gosh, don't do that. And I don't think Aruna can howl on command yet. Like Artemis can't. Oh no, Aruna can't. But I still have to teach her apparently. So Rain's gonna give us some more tips. He's like, your howling's good, but I definitely feel like we can work on it a little bit. There's, there's a little bit more depth you can get to it. And like, you can make it travel further. So he's gonna like try and train her how to howl a little bit better. Because Artemis totally has it down, but... Like I said, Aruna, the late wolf bloomer, she needs a little bit of extra help. It does mean that this little cookie, though, is kind of unintentionally feeling a little bit left out with his farms. It's just always going to happen when all of them share this thing and he doesn't. Like, that would suck. And he wants to finish reading a book. I kind of want him to, like, come across a book. But I need to work like a certain vampire book. But I need to work out a good way to like introduce it, you know? I can't just like have it in the house because why would it just be in the house? Okay, meanwhile, Luna is doing all of this business. <laughs> wow, you need to get stronger, babes. Just so that we can try and increase this rank as much as possible. Okay, and while they do that, we've got a bit of money right now and like... Rain might not be able to, they might struggle to connect with Lycaon, but they still love him. And he wants to like get good at chess. Who are you going to play chess with in this house? Genuinely, I don't know who you're going to play chess with in this house. But if you want a little chess table, I absolutely, we will get you a little chess table. This is like the least chessy house I've ever seen, genuinely. I know it's kind of stereotypes like, oh... Oh, they've still got kids' beds. Oh my gosh, I need to fix that. Like, you know, vampires are smart and werewolves are dumb. And like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that werewolves, particularly this set, they're just more free and relaxed and they just don't really, they're not so bothered about like the things that humans find important, you know? I'm gonna see if there's any kids' beds. There is, yes. Kids' beds that came with this park, which is perfect because now I can make their room. Oh, can I put, maybe I can put a little desk in here, actually. Oh my gosh, look how wrecky the desk is. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna make this kind of like, um, like Heon's little space. And then I feel like Artemis is a top bunk kind of girl. Whereas Aruna, I kind of see as a bottom bunk, having like little fairy lights around her and it being like a little cozy cove type thing. I just, I just feel that. Okay, so I've given her like a little cute end of the bed cute area. I love how different they all are. I think it's really cute. And this is the chair table that came with the new park. I don't think I'll be able to fit it inside anywhere. I really wanted to do a porch, didn't I? Why don't I use this as an opportunity to, now we've got a bit of cash, make like a proper porch area here. But I'm just going to give the whole house a little bit of an update just so that everything kind of matches. Put in all these little things on the edges just because I like little wooden edges. I don't know. I just, I just think they're real cute. These ones are a bit long. I don't want to really bring the roof out one more. Kind of looks a bit weird, but we have a little porch. Now, why is the roof like so high i don't know yeah i think that looks cuter that looks way cuter i want to do like a little bit of like a path here too it really annoys me that your paths don't go to the edge so you just always like have to just fade them into nothingness it's just like I hate that. Now it's a little place to like sit and watch the world go by and also to play a bit of chess. I think I need like a little um, light here just to have a little cute nightlight outside with little fireflies flying around it. It's kind of annoying me that the chess table isn't exactly under it. So I have to put this little sitting and watching maybe down here instead. You can't, no, okay, let's just leave it at that. We don't want to be too messy. Okay, I think that looks way cuter. I think it adds the extension in there and... Yeah, I think that works. The one thing I might do is since this extends out a bit further now, I might just also extend this out a bit further too. It gives them a bit more room, but I might actually give that to their parents. Remind you there's three of them in there. Do they need all that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to give the parents back a bit more room. There you go, gang. Okay. Definitely very, very happy with the way things are looking now. Okay, and then let's have Rain. He's a bit stressed inside. Maybe he's a bit too tense to do this. What about if Lycaon asks him? He's like, oh, by the way, Lycaon, we got you a little... We need some curtains in that window. Jeez, people have been seeing everything that we're doing. Whether he's like actually wanting to play some chess with him, which is cute. You do have your dad's hair, which is very, very adorable. And there you go. You can play a little chess together now. Oh, <laughs> Someone's not happy with not getting all the attention, is she? She's so, she's so like headstrong as Artemis. I love her. Okay, so Wally's sisters are still up 
and about being angry or being helpful and washing up plates. Look, you can tell he's not nocturnal. He's not like those guys. He's already having a little nap on the sofa. So I'm going to just go ahead and put him to bed because he gets sleepy earlier. <gasps> oh, and maybe if we do manage to get him that book, when everyone else is like sleeping later, he could wake up early in the morning and read under the covers with like a little nightlight. That would be so cool. But yeah, I'm going to get him to have a little schlep. Oh my gosh, Aruna's so cute. She's like tidy in the whole house. What an absolute pure googie egg. Also, Rain did not go easy on the chess match. He'd be like, this is your first time? Okay, this is probably the only time I'm going to win. So I'm just going to try my best to win. <laughs> Love that for him. Artemis also does wrecking and then Aruna starts trying to clean it up. In fact, you guys should all probably start heading to bed. <gasps> you knew your bed, cutie. Just because you got school tomorrow. And since Luna's not sleepy yet, I'm going to use this. Ooh, I need to make sure she doesn't get too angry. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to like try and gain this park thing. Because there's like so many things I want to do with her. But right now, I have to just like try and get in control of the pack, you know? Okay, I don't know whether it's too soon for me to try and challenge for leader. I'm only a Delta right now, and I already lost a tug of war with her, so I think for now I need to keep practicing my brawling because I'm not very good at it. But I have been getting her to... Oof, she's still got this fear of dead-end job. <gasps> I need to sort that quickly. Is that... That's the wants and fear system, isn't it? So that's like a proper fear she's got. I could just make a like, do this whole regain passion before she goes to work, but I actually think... I just need to get her to quit that job because the job kind of sucks, you know? What can I get her good at on the side? Like, I feel like painting is like such an easy one to do. I feel like with a werewolf, they're a bit more like crafty. They prefer working with their hands. I don't know whether to get her to do woodworking. I think that could be quite a cool one to do. It kind of makes sense for her. So maybe she can become a carpenter. I also want to see how she does in a brawl. Like, not a proper brawl, just like a spa. Because if she's starting to beat Rory, maybe it's time for me to challenge to the pack. Oh no, she's still getting a butt kicked. Yeah, she's she's not quite strong enough yet. <gasps> However, I'm now beta. New unlocks. The world's most inaccurate sundial. Okay, that's nice. But I've gone up a level. I'm now a beta. If I want to become alpha, the only way to do it is to challenge the current alpha. Is Luna willing to take that risk for the sweet taste of power? I think I need to get mentored by Rain in order to get a little bit tougher. And then once I've done that, I think we do it. I think we give it a go. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that scary? No, that's Rain. <laughs> I thought it was Scary Wolf, but it's just Rain rampaging. Leaving the kids at home and someone was mean to him on social, Bunny. All in all, he's just not having a good time. But the main thing is he is back in time to get Brecky on the table for his bobbies. One for one Wolfie, one for another, one for me. Luna's at work, one for her when she gets home. And then for the Lycaon. It's kind of perfect with mom being at work because we can pop some cereal. And then I feel like the way you wake up your werewolf children, <laughs> it's kind of mean. Oh my gosh, he literally hates this music being on. Okay, let's switch that off. I feel like the best way to wake up a bunch of werewolves, look how slow my wheel is, actually, because it, oh my gosh, painful, is to howl. So he's like, wake up which obviously works really well on these two less so on the dormant werewolf who's probably like oh my god dad shut up they immediately though wake up with a little howl look at this oh look at why did you steal aruna's bed clothes i do not know but a little howl from you guys he's have to go kick a bin because he's so hungry fair enough but then let's have some brekkie together please so three people numbing down on their steaks. Raw steak for, for... Oh my gosh, could you imagine just waking up and then eating a raw steak with full chest? I would go for the lucky charms or like whatever they are every single time. I don't think Luna will be actually like really mad at him. She'll just be like sad and like confused and like she'll probably try and turn him into a wolf. Whereas Rain's kind of keeping it a secret because he didn't grow up a wolf. So he's like, is it what like Heon wants? I don't know. Let's give him some time to figure things out. I think as a kid, he probably initially will feel quite sad about being left out, but then maybe he'll realize that he's his own person and he needs to make his decision for himself, not just so he can fit in with the fans, you know? And while Luna is at her final day of work, Rain is just like the creator of dreams this episode because he's like, my child wants a chess table, so a chess table he will have. I will build an entire porch ready for this chess table. And then he's like, my non-wife, fated mate, hates her dead-end job, but has claws that literally shaped my heart. So maybe she can shape things to sell. So I'm gonna buy her a woodworking table and she can do woodworking. Oh my gosh, they can't get outside. I forgot to put a door there. Oh, and they have a bin around here. Let's get rid of that bin. Yeah, while he's working out, she can be like working the wood and he will like 
Look, they're like hanging out together. So cute. We need to get some little lights around this side too. A wolf door. Aruna cleaning again because she's a good giggy egg. And right, school kids. Oh, I've got an ability point to spend as well. Oh, wait, what was the sundial? Sorry, I'm like literally distracted by a thousand things at once. What was that sundial thing that I unlocked? I like, I feel like a moon dial would be more useful for a wolf, but oh, here it is. A little sundial. Oh, I can put it next to your woodworking table. Oh my gosh, it's trash. <laughs> Look at it. What even is that? I don't know, but there you go. I like this nice mahogany moment. There you go, a little sundial. Wow, it's so gorgeous. And oh, what have we got? Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's so gorgeous and beautiful. Oh, you're going to go feral when you get home, babes. But don't, because you can do some woodworking instead. Rain, go do yourself a good epic workout. Kids are all at school, apart from like Aeon. Oh, all at school. Good job, good job. I feel like Artemis would just work normally. Like Aeon would work hard and Aruna would be just like staring at the, like the little butterflies outside, like watching the sunshine go by. Her dad's already said, don't worry about things at school. So she's like, ah, <laughs> this is such a nice day. And Aruna is sick. Oh my gosh, did somebody make her eat human food? No, don't do a health check. Absolutely not allowed to do that. Just make sure nobody teases her. Yeah, we can't let them be finding things out, guys. She still hasn't had the, like, angry ghost spurts yet. Only Artemis has had that so far. Obviously, like, Aeon has not. Okay, are you... Am I going to catch you in time for this? Please do a little somber... Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, I think you're going to go wild. Let's see if you can get back in control, because today is meant to be, like, your rocky montage day, where, like, rain trains you, and then you get all, like, tough, you know? Nice. Good job. Good job. Okay. In need of a break from work, we're going to do that right now. You are going to go ahead and quit your job. Do it. Feel good about yourself. Quit that dead end job. You will be a woodworker. But first of all, I need you to be a fighter. Quits. Boom. Okay. That made you more tense because you're jobless. But you're not jobless at all because you are a wolfy. Well, okay. <laughs> wolfy woodworker. Boom. Carpenter. But more growly. I also dislike that she got the workaholic trait just because she was desperately working so hard to try and support her family that it stressed her out. So I'm sending her to a lifestyle coach as well. I'm gonna try and de-stress Luna because it's not good for her to be this stressed all the time. <gasps> oh, and Rain has a fear of unfulfilled dreams. He feels unfulfilled and dissatisfied with how his life is going. He will occasionally become upset with his life direction. <gasps> oh, is that because he's like, doesn't want to be a lone wolf? Maybe we'll try and increase this soon and then he can work on a new life. Because I feel like he should be the parent. I think like he should have the parent in aspiration because he's so good at parenting. Jeez, you were looking sweaty right now, friend. Oh, and they know. They know that I'm trying to take over. They've put me on notice. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Oh, well, I needed some more garlic anyway. Okay, so she's back now. She's getting so They look like they're wearing little matching outfits. I love it. We're getting some training in here. The kids are back from school. What you all up to? What is this rig out you've got on? I have no idea. But you are stink. So let's get you as a little wolfy shower. Oh, no, you're going to have to wait because uh, Aruna's getting a bath. Like, Heon's using the new cute pose, sat outside doing a little bit of homework. I love this. I love sitting cross-legged. I'm so glad they added it to the game. So he's having a little read out here. Oh my god, what was that? Did you see a little, a little well of boobies under the fur then? Because I did. We're doing some more spa training and then I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and challenge them to the park. So I can take over the park, run it into the ground, and then begin my next goal which is to be hated by Vlad. I feel like she's looking quite strong. I genuinely feel like she is. One more just for good luck and then let's do it. Yeah, look at that. She's strong now. Yes. Okay, this is Artemis is burning to death. What? Babes, go get a cold shower or something. This is the most ready I will ever be. It's time. Wait, can I use an ability point to help me? Ooh. Oh, I could unlock Alpha Wolf. Win most fights and challenges against other wolves. Yes, I mean to unlock this for Rain as well, but I'm going to need this today. So let's get it for Luna too. Some awful wolf. And let's head over as the sun's setting. The perfect time. No flood. <laughs> no flood. It's time. It's time to take over this park and show them how annoying they are. You ask too much of your wolflings, okay? You really do. Oh, she's practicing her sparring too. Hurry! Okay, I think they won that one. Uh, okay, let's challenge. In an honorable brawl. Look how mad I am, like, walking over, like, we're gonna get chinned. And I really hope they are because, uh... <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, gosh! Okay! Raid, have you trained me enough? 
please, 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 please. It would be so embarrassing if I lose. We know Luna's not the best fighter, but she's been working so hard. She's been really trying. She quit her job today. She's feeling good. But is it enough? Like, oh, I don't know. I can't tell by the animations yet. I don't know them well enough. Oh, <gasps> she freaking did it. She only went and did it. Oh my gosh, she challenged and she won. <gasps> oh, look at you. You'll never tell me to go down the vines again. Aceration completed. Whoa, Luna is like totally radical, dude. Luna's risen up the ranks and proves the world that the wild fangs are here to stay. No, <laughs> no, not that fair. What adventures will she conquer next? I can give her a new aspiration. And I have unique power over the pack membership. Ooh, exclusive interactions with members of both packs and a guitar, which I can give to Brain. Oh, that's so cool. And I'm Alpha. I'm literally at the top of the park. I can kick members out the park. Maybe I just make the wild fangs like my own family. Then nobody can tell me <laughs> like where the wild fangs. No one's ever allowed to tell me like what I can and can't do ever again. I can't believe it. She's the new Alpha in town with her little strange walk. Look at her go. Well, well, well. Check out Luna, the hotshot pack leader. Triumphant. She's feeling ballsy. She's feeling fierce. I feel like now is the perfect time to be like, we've taken on the werewolves in this town and shown that we're stronger than them all. But my beef isn't truly with the werewolves. I've been reading up on lore and also I've had lunar epiphanies. And I know that there are other fanged ones out there that threaten us more than some really Karen werewolves ever could. My next challenge is to take on them. But that could have unintended consequences for her son. But she doesn't know that. It's all a big secret. That's what makes it so juicy. I love it when the stories write themselves. There we go. Okay, guys. Oh, Maria saddened. There we go. Luna is now alpha of the park and has a new enemy in her sights. And our little chitter, how are they all doing? They've got time. They've got time to enjoy childhood, yeah? And we'll kind of will learn a little bit more about them as we go along. But yeah, I don't know what is in store for Lycaon. We won't know yet. We'll give him some time to figure it out. And we did some changes to the house as well. So why have we got the fire on in the heat of summer? I do not know. But let me know what you guys thought of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye.